Hello students, how are you all? One question for you. Do you know mirror? Yeah, it's a silly question. We all know what is called mirror. Yeah, every day we use in our daily life. Every day we use mirror to see our face. Isn't it? You know that mirror is a plain mirror. No, the shape of that mirror is plain. But you know, except that mirror, two other mirrors are also there, which are not plain. Either this, that mirror is of this shape or it's of this shape. Okay, two different shapes are there. Understood? That is not plain mirror which we use at our home. Two different mirrors are one is of this shape or this shape. Let us draw it. This is the shape or this is the shape. Understood? Either you will find this shape or this shape. Why I am shedding this? Where I am shedding, that is the back side of the mirror. Understood? So, for this mirror, this is the front side and this is the back side where I am shedding. Shaded means back side of the mirror. Got it? Now, this type of mirrors which are not plain which we use at our home that is plain mirror but these mirrors are called spherical mirror what spherical mirror okay and there is a special name given to these mirrors this mirror is called concave mirror concave and this is called convex understood so concave mirror and convex mirror now we will discuss some terms some important terms related to these mirrors let us discuss those first of all let us take this concave mirror on the concave mirror exact midpoint this point on this surface, which is the exact midpoint, this is the exact midpoint. We call it pole or optical center. So we will name it O. Fine, pole or optical center. For timing, say I am rubbing it. Yeah, now. So this is called pole. Understood? Or optical center now from this end to this end if you draw a straight line understood this is called aperture of the mirror fine this is a b so what is my o pole or optical center what is this a b AB is the imaginary line. What is this AB called? Aperture of the mirror. Fine. Now, we can imagine that this mirror is the part of a circle. If I draw this circle like this. Yes. This mirror is the part of this circle. Or you can say that this mirror is the arc of that circle. Okay. Where is the center of that circle? Here is the center of that circle. We call it center of curvature. That is C. Understood? What is C? Center of curvature. Now, what I am drawing? I am drawing a straight line which is passing through the optical center and center of curvature. That means this straight line I am drawing now. See, this straight line is called principal axis, x, y. 
is the principal axis. Understood? One more thing. The distance between center of curvature. Where is center of curvature? C is the center of curvature. This point. And the pole. Where is pole? This is pole. The distance between center of curvature and pole is called radius of curvature. That is R. Understood? Radius of curvature. Any doubt? So what are the points we discussed? Number one, we discussed pole. Number two, we discussed center of curvature. Number three, we discussed aperture. Number four, we discussed principal axis. Then number five, we discussed, yes, radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is the distance between center of curvature and pole. Fine. Now we will discuss another point. Concave mirror. Now, as I told you before, this point is called pole. And this line is, yes, principal axis. So, this is my principal axis. Now, this is XY is the principal axis. What is this point? Center of curvature. I told you center of curvature. Now, what we are doing, we will take a torch. Say we are taking a laser torch. Means, I require thin ray of light. Very thin. I will not take the normal torch from where light gets like this. No. I will take a laser torch means a very thin ray of light I want. Understood? A very thin ray of light like this and I want to pass this ray parallel to the principal axis. You understood the condition? I will pass the ray parallel to the principal axis. So this is the ray going. Say this is the laser torch this is the torch, laser torch. Laser torch means the torch which is available uh, in the local market. That type of laser torch. It's not that hi-fi laser one. The laser torch we call which is available in the local market from where very thin ray of light comes out. That laser torch. Understood? Not the hi-fi one. Okay. The normal, actually our purpose is to get the Thin ray of light. Okay. This is the thin ray of light is going. But it is going parallel to the principal axis. See. It is parallel to the principal axis. In that condition. You will see that. After reflecting by this mirror. The ray is getting back. Like this. Okay. Now. Say I am not sending the light from here. I am sending the light from here. Okay. I have changed the path of the ray. But this the ray is also parallel to the principal axis. That is the condition. The condition is the path of the ray should be parallel to the principal axis. Now you see that after reflecting by the mirror, this ray is also going through this point. Okay? Same point it is going. Now, if you pass this ray from this direction, see, in these three directions, I have changed the path of the ray. Fine. First I have passed from this way, now this way, now this way. Three different paths. But in three different paths, what is the condition similar? The similarity is all this ray are parallel to the principal axis. Yes, they are parallel to the principal axis. So, you will see that the third ray is also, after reflecting by the mirror, it is also passing through the same point. So, when a ray is parallel to the principal axis, after reflecting by the mirror, they are passing through the same point on principal axis. Yes. This is the point which is on principal axis. This particular point is called focus point. 
Got it? So we'll name it focus point. Understood? And one more information the distance between this focus point and optical center this focus point and this optical center this distance is called focal length so this distance is called focal length small f and don't forget i told you the distance between pole and center of curvature pole and center of curvature this distance is called radius of curvature so this distance is radius of curvature i told you that and you know what this focus point is exact midpoint of this oc yes f is the midpoint of oc so we can also say that this f equal to r by 2 means if you divide this r by 2 you will get this focal length r equal to sorry f equal to r by 2 it's a very important relation understood so what are the terms we discussed first we discussed pole or optical center number two what center of curvature number three principal axis number four radius of curvature number five focus point number six focal length and one more thing is discussed that is called aperture fine so these are the terms we discussed for concave mirror now we will discuss for convex mirror let us draw a convex mirror first this is the convex mirror so can you tell me which is the back side and which is the front side yes this is the front side and shaded part is the back side of the mirror understood now first of all we will discuss about the pole which is pole yes exact midpoint of the mirror exact mid this is the mirror which is the exact midpoint this is the exact midpoint so this is called pole that is O pole or optical center understood now again this is called aperture we discussed in concave mirror this is called aperture so a b is the aperture understood now this mirror is also the part of a particular circle we can imagine that or we can also say that this mirror is also the part of sorry also the arc of a circle so let us draw that circle so yes see this mirror is the part of this circle now where is the center of that circle this is the center of that circle got it which is called center of curvature of this mirror understood so what is the definition of center of curvature this mirror is the part of a circle or we can say that this mirror is the arc of a circle center of that circle is called center of curvature understood now we will draw a line which is passing through the pole and center of curvature let us draw that now this is the line which is passing through pole and center of curvature this line is called principal axis x y is the principal axis fine now we know what is called pole where is the pole this is the pole where is the center of curvature this is the center of curvature the distance between pole and center of curvature this is the distance between pole and center of curvature is called radius of curvature understood so what we discussed radius of curvature center of curvature pole principal axis aperture what is left yes focus point and focal length let us discuss that 
let us draw a convex mirror again this is the convex mirror fine which is the back side this is the back side which is the front obviously this is the front got it so from which side you will send the ray or you will stand if you want to stand in front of the mirror which side you will stand this side or this side yeah obviously this side because this is the front side so you have to stand here if you stand here this is the back side of the mirror what is the benefit so where will you stand this side will stand got it now as we know this is our pole and this is the principal axis okay this is the center of curvature this is pole now again we are taking the same laser torch laser torch means i am not saying that high five one laser torch the laser torch which is available in our local market yeah from where the very thin ray comes out i am taking that torch and our target is we are sending the ray but the ray should be parallel to the principal axis like that yes so this is the ray which is coming out okay say we are sending the ray from three different direction now for this is the first direction say i am sending this way or you can say send from this way also no problem so three different rays i am sending fine we will see that now they are reflecting this way yes fine here it is reflecting this way correct and here it is reflecting this way fine so they are not meeting fine they are getting diverges see diverges so they are not meeting to each other but this ray we will produce them back how let's see we will do this is the ray going i will draw like this say this one this this one also yes this so all this reflected ray means after reflecting by the mirror after reflecting by the mirror the way they are going it's like that they all are coming from the same point yes this ray is also like coming from this point this ray is also like coming from this point and this ray is also like coming from this point so this particular point is called focus point understood this is the focus point of a convex mirror and what is called focal length you know what is called focal length we already discussed in concave mirror the distance between pole and focus point this is pole this is focus point this distance is called focal length understood so again we discussed all the terms like pole center of curvature aperture radius of curvature focus point focal length principal axis everything we discussed and uh, like concave mirror this focus point is the midpoint of o and c understood f is the midpoint of oc that means the focal length is equal to half of radius of curvature that is r by 2 so this condition is satisfied or this condition is for both convex mirror and concave mirror understood so you practice it we'll meet in the second part of this video